hello there, friends, family, fellow homo sapiens, the occasional cat that scurried across the keyboard and accidentally clicked on this video. Run along now. Go destroy a roll of toilet paper or something because this one is for the humans. Sorry, I feel like this film quality is too low. I'm gonna switch out my camera. There. Award, trophy, accolades. We love receiving them, but more than anything, we like the dresses we wear to receive them. Basically, I'm gonna be recreating some awards show looks from this awards season, so. The other day, as I was shuffling down the dark, rainy alleyways of a city called YouTube, it's like I was clicking through some videos, I came across a particular scenario which piqued my curiosity. It's like there was a video that interested me. So I'm watching this clip from the Grammys, and I was totally struck by something. Who runs the world? Isn't the answer Duncan? Oh, no, that's what the world runs on. Anyway, I was struck by something else. This dress, like, wow. Having decided, this is very hard to keep my leg up like that. Having decided a few months prior that I would reproduce or rip off, if you will, some awards show looks, I decided this dress might be just the ticket. But I know that sometimes people prefer the absurd things in life. This is made evident by the fact that I have any subscribers. So I decided to put to a vote that dress or one of the more absurd ones from the 2019 Grammys. And the people, well, darling, they voted. <laughs> I don't even know who I'm doing an impression of right now. When choosing our silver fabric, we want one so bright and shiny that our peripheral vision can pick it out on its own, so don't directly look at the fabrics. This one was $10 a yard. Speaking of yards, I got two and an eighth. And with my 50% off coupon, this ended up being pretty cheap. I draped a lining for the top using an old bed sheet. This was really not a necessary step, but I just wanted to add more work to my load, I guess. These are the panels I have ended up with for my lining. They kind of look like an alien language. And because I really like the fit of that lining, I traced the pieces onto some paper. Ladies and gentlemen, it's sketching time. It's sketching time is what I... <clears throat> said there. You know what I hate about pens? You can't erase anything. But do you know what you can erase? Dry erase markers. Not on paper though. Now I liked the idea of doing the sketch on my nail so that I could have it with me anywhere, but it's too small. <laughs> we need something bigger. <laughs> this is too small too. This one's too small too. So as I was slithering about my own home trying to find a giant dry erase board, it occurred to me. What is a refrigerator besides a giant dry erase board? I mean, it's white. Classic rule of thumb. If it's white, it's a dry erase board. Next, we're gonna move these things on the fridge. This is from the recycle designing competition I did. This is from America. It was probably made in China though. This is from when I was in Seussical. This is from, I don't feel like telling that story. I just broke the window. And now we begin the sketch. <laughs> I don't even know what pieces to even cut out to even start to make this insanely complex, super confusing so-called dress. Should be fun, should be pretty easy. I'm just glad I'm making this dress because if you would have told me 10 years ago that I would be making a Lady Gaga awards show dress, I would have been mentally preparing for something like... Ew, 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 ew. Ew, ew. But luckily Gaga has grown up a bit. Got my lining all done, but when it comes to the actual dress part of this dress, it's gonna be 100% draping. So we're just gonna take our fabric. It's gonna look really pretty in the store, but now it kind of looks like one of those things you put in the windshield of your car. Now go behind your mannequin named Sylvia, or if you don't have one, you're just gonna have to do this on yourself, which can be done. But if I were to do it on myself, it would involve me not, not wearing anything. We're just gonna do it on her. Cause she doesn't have a sense of modesty. Do you, Sylv? Yeah, you're a little. Wrap her like a burrito and her burrito wrapping at the back. Oh, that looks good. I should work at Chipotle. Now we're just basically gonna Squeeze it and then pin it in place. We're gonna have our big roughly thing to cover any mistakes, so we don't have to think too hard about this. So this is what I ended up with. I pinned and sewed it like that all the way down to the thigh, and then I tried it on myself for a more accurate fit and made some adjustments. And yes, that is a pin cushion on my neck, and I am wearing a nude colored cami. The next day, I didn't get a whole lot done because we were finally having our family Christmas, and I know what you're thinking. You guys had your family Christmas at the beginning of March. Uh, no, this was taken at the end of February. Hey, do something cute. Don't worry, they're married. I didn't want to waste a whole day of productivity, so I had my niece help me hem the dress, but then my brother was trying to get in the shot, so I bit him in the love handle. After marking where I needed to cut the dress, I laid it down, tried to cut it, but my niece was pointing at me, and for some reason I thought that was hilarious. And I cut a little crooked, and then Sylvia fell on us, and it was just a very dramatic evening. So for the lining, I got a little bit lazy and literally just hot glued a plastic zip tie to the inside of the lining. Then I pinned that to the inside of my dress, and I, I guess I'm gonna sew it, like, right there and there. I'm not even sure this has a purpose yet, but it felt right. Then I cut the leg slit, and you know, that is important, not only because Lady Gaga's dress has it, but also, you know, uh, for ventilation purposes. You don't want sweaty thighs. Oh, then I added a zipper to the back. It didn't really match, but no one's ever going to see the back of this. Why did I even put it in the video? Then I folded the fancy fabric down over the lining fabric and hand sewed it in place. Then it was time to make the decorative thing on the front of her dress. I don't know what to call it. It kind of reminds me of like a gigantic skin tag. I had a skin tag on my armpit once and I accidentally shaved it off and it didn't really hurt that bad. I added the little ruffles to our gigantic skin tag by simply pinching and pinning, and then I ran the whole thing through the machine. At which point, I pinned and sewed it to our little tin foil treasure of a dress. This just won't do. For some reason, I get the feeling for swimming, it might help. For fashion, it's best. So we're gonna just hot glue this. We're just gonna kind of hot glue ourselves. Not hot glue ourselves. Not that I haven't done that.
Nextly, I squandered an inordinate amount of time individually cutting sequins in half so that they wouldn't look too sequiny. Then I scrupulously applied each piece with hot glue and unsurprisingly burnt my finger. So after 45 minutes of work, this dress looks the same. Super glad I did that. Hey guys, doing a headstand here. Just wanted to tell you that I'm going to be recycling my holiday Barbie dress that I made and turning it into a Lily Reinhardt Golden Globes dress. Wanna see me do one-handed headstand push-ups? People often ask me, what do you do with these costumes after you make them? I hoard them, simply put. I'd like to say that I give them to the homeless, but I don't really know what a homeless person would do with a 2018 holiday Barbie dress. You are going to want to take your holiday Barbie dress and sort of just mess around with it until it looks like Lily Reinhardt's dress. I'm going to take my straps off and make it strapless because Lily Reinhardt, Lily Reinhardt, Lily, Lily Reinhardt, that's a hard name to say fast. Lily Reinhardt's dress has a sort of tapering trim that goes down to the back. So we're going to stitch that in place and then the skirt, we're going to do something. Well, don't do this, but this is pretty dang rad. I bet you like $9 Cardi B will wear something just like this to the Grammys next year. But I don't bet you all $9, because if I lose, that would be a lot of $9 dollars oh, Why did that song come to mind? Oh, hi there. It's another day, another opportunity to plagiarize a red carpet look. By the way, you like my shirt? I wear it to make you guys feel like I have more credibility. So we have a conundrum. I posted a question to Instagram to try to get inspiration for which red carpet look I should copy, and the suggestions were overwhelmingly the same. Billy Porter. Billy Porter. Billy Porter, all caps, five exclusive. Point. Now there are a couple of issues with this. One, that dress just really won't have the same entertainment value on me. And two, it looks like it requires a lot of black fabric and that would be expensive. So what can I do? My hands are tied. I have no choice but to spend the day just sitting and relaxing by the fireplace. No choice. Or use these. I could use these, I guess. Setting, ouch. Setting small goals for yourself is a great way to motivate. So I decided I won't let myself have coffee until I get the huge butt skirt for this dress done. I believe it's called the donkey and carrot effect. I also believe I might have made that up. I'm aiming to get this dress done in an hour and 30 minutes. Let's go. First, you're gonna get hot and sweaty from lugging all that fabric around. So you're going to change into a Little Mermaid tank top. This piece of fabric was about $3 at Goodwill, but if you are going to a fabric store and you need to know how much to get, get about enough to cover a great white shark. Like one of the big ones, like the one from Finding Nemo. To make darts, I traced this triangularized paper bag from a store which I will not name because the name is so disputed over in its pronunciation. Next, I cut out a long strip of fabric for the waistband. If your father is napping in the room where you're ironing, then quietly fold the edges of the strip of fabric inward and then fold the whole thing in half long ways. Then pleat your skirt fabric until it fits perfectly within that waistband and then sew those pleats in place and then add it to the waistband, fold the waistband over, and then sew it. I'm proud of the fact that I got two angles of this shot. After this step, I did a bit of shopping with my friend Courtney, where a bothersome car caught my attention. Now, listen to how unclassy my voice sounds when I'm not in YouTube mode. Holding your door closed with a skirt. What do you think this is? Russia? The fantastic thing is he actually locked the door like he did the thing where it went beep and locked it. So glad he locked that. That's gonna do a lot of good. And I'm writing them a note. A strongly worded note. Yeah, that'll do it. Hold this up and put it in their car. Someone needs to take action. That'll teach them not to, I don't even know. We did it. Yeah! After that little foray into pointlessness, we hit up Salvation Army where I found my Billy Porter jacket. It was $6 but half off. Also while there, we saw Natalia Taylor, but she looked busy, so we didn't bother her. When I returned home, my dad taught me how to replace a garbage disposal. Take the flange, put it over the- The flange? Yep, it's a little flange. Then I finally got back to work on sewing, and to make the top of my Billy Porter dress, I used the pattern that I made from the lining of the Lady Gaga dress. Remember the one I said looked like an alien language or something? Anyway, I set these rulers here in the probably vain hope that you guys could figure out the exact size. Believe it or not, all six of those little panels sewn together only created the front of our bodice. I've just broke a needle. I think this is a sign that I just maybe need to quit. Maybe just relax. Maybe buy a hot tub, I, I don't know. Unfortunately, I found another needle, so I guess no hot tub for me. Then I shortened the bodice to about belly button length, and then constructed the back out of one simple strip of stretchy fabric. I wanted this top to be able to be worn on its own, so it wouldn't just be another weird costume piece that I'm just hoarding for no reason. So I added these little tie straps, and it actually turned out pretty cute, and when it gets warmer out, I'll be sure to post a pic. Next, it was time to pop the blister from my hot glue gun burn. I put this warning here because after my Cinderella video, when I pierced my lip with a pin, a lot of people said, put a warning next time. So there you go. I'm nervous and I'm losing motivation. And what do I do when I lose motivation? I get motivation. Just turn on some tunes, get your booty moving, and you'll feel fabulous. <laughs> Better. I hope you guys don't mind too bad when I dance. Some people really actually appreciate it. Like this one time I went with my friend to a wedding and I danced my heart out and then later the bride's mom came up to me and said, I could not take my eyes off of you while you were dancing. She's like, you reminded me so much of someone. And I said, who? And she said, the girl from The Exorcist. Now I've never seen The Exorcist, but I'm guessing there must be like a girl who dances fairly decent in it. Thought about watching it, but it's rated R and I'm not old enough to watch rated R movies yet. It's done. Not really, we have to hem it. I'm totally kidding though. I do watch some rated R movies. Like six years ago I watched the Passion of the Christ.
Christ, and then two years ago I watched The Passion of the Christ again. I feel like there was another one though. What was Toy Story 3 rated? By the way, I did a rolled hem on the bottom of that jacket. Okay, now we're gonna really fast put this on inside out. We're gonna mark where it needs to be taken in. Now the reason we're going really fast is because I had three cups of coffee today. Grab whatever's nearest. What is this? A marker! Perfect! That'll work. Things always work out, so you don't really have to try that hard. Well, that's weird. Everything didn't work out perfectly for me. It usually does. So yeah, I had to let out those seams, make the jacket a little bigger, but after that, everything worked out perfectly and order was restored to the universe. I found this dress shirt for about $1.50 at Salvation Army, but the award for cheapest addition to my costume goes to this little black bow, which I found in the parking lot outside of where I work about a year ago, and I just knew that I would have some use for it eventually. No, I don't know why some people are so down on littering, because some of us really benefit from it. Oh, you know what I look like? Hi, my name is Steak and Shake. Welcome to Steak... <laughs> Good morning, it's the big day, awards show day, and I'm gonna show you how to get awards show ready. Let's get an awards show shape. Get Before you head to the red carpet, you gotta take a shower because you don't want the next day's headlines to be so-and-so smelled bad on the red carpet. Now to get that gaga glow. <laughs> kind of burns. The good news is, with Lady Gaga's slit in her skirt, we only have to tan one leg. Due to a few requests, I have extended the length of time I spend showing you how I do my makeup by two seconds. Now to set the stage. I don't have any red carpet or red fabric, but I do have some red clothes, so I'm just gonna, like... Now please ignore the awful setting and the awful lighting and the awful camera quality and just focus on how little I spent on these outfits. I feel like I should say something that Lady Gaga would say. Tell me something, boy. Aren't you tired trying to fill that boy? Or do you need more? She would not do this with her hands. Hi, I'm Holiday Barf. I mean Lily Reinhardt. <laughs> Goodbye, Lily Reinhardt. Hello? Part-time retail employee. I gotta go to work now. Billy Porter will have to wait until I return. Hi, I'm Billy Porter, though I much more closely resemble Billy Piper. Just ignore that fact. What's that, you ask? Why is my backdrop made of bubble wrap? Well, because, darling, fashion. I don't know enough about Billy Porter to know what something he would say would be, but I'd imagine it would be something like, I'm apparently 49, but I could make a toddler feel self-conscious about their complexion with how good my complexion is. I'm Billy Porter on a car. I'm Billy Porter in a snowy hammock. I'm Billy Porter not doing laundry. Oh, by the way, this doesn't really actually wipe off, so. Okay, let me try this one more time. Hi, welcome to Steak and Shake. My name is your waiter, and I'm your waiter.